over here is a is a very long rod which is threaded like a for a screw so when the motor is activated it's turning that rod around and it's screwing this section of the arm in and out depending on which direction it's going so if you need if you first get this and you need to extend the arm it'll come um, pulled all the way in you can just turn it by your hand by your finger and it'll open all the way up or it'll close all the way um, so what you want to do when you adjust this and figure out how you want yours to be you want to take this bolt off right here this is just a, just a nut and bolt that comes right off with the proper tools um, also a, a thief could do this if they wanted to break into your property they could take it off so I'll probably go back at some point and put um, a lock in here so that it won't come in on and off unless you know the combination but but for now to adjust the swing of the gate what you do is you take this off you screw this all the way in so that it's it's withdrawn and then you hit the open button on your key fob and what it'll do is this will open all you know swings right here as you see it's pivoted so you take this off you swing it out some so that it's away from the gate you'd hit your open and it will open all the way up until it hits the little mechanism in here that makes it stop there's an on off switch inside here that a little cam nipple hits when it gets to the right spot it goes around and around and it, when it gets to the right spot it stops it so you want to open it all the way up then what you would do you I swing swing it out to here unhook from the gate and it's all the way open then what I did was I, I swung the gate over to here and at that point I decided where that fully open arm needed to be in relation to this I marked it with a with a marker and then I bolted this onto this rod okay at that point I was able to have it in the fully open position then what you do once it's fully open then you attach it and so it's attached to your gate the actuator arm and the gate are attached then you close it and what will happen is it will close until the actuator control in here the little cam goes the opposite direction and when the cam hits the off button in here then it stops now this is where I ended up spending actually more time than I wish I had trying to get that coordinated with the open and close with the two gates so that they did what they were supposed to at the same time now I'm gonna pause this tape and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna open one of these up and take this hex screw and open this up and this comes straight off and when I do I'm gonna show you something in here about how these uh, cams operate and how you adjust them because frankly that was something that I had the most problems with in reading the instructions was trying to understand how that works so I'm gonna stop the tape now once I get that cover off I'll come back and I'll explain it to you a little bit better okay now I have the cap off of the actuator arm <clears throat> and what we're doing is we're looking at the guts of this and what's really important I hope that you're able to see this well you have this round section that spins okay it goes around and around and there's if you can see there's a nipple on it see how it's more oblong on one side and what happens is when that spins around uh, and it gets to there's a little black button right here between the two that you can hardly see but it is there and when that nipple hits that black button it stops the motor now it's actually in two sections because there's the top section is for the stop the bottom section is for the open 
and there's a nipple here which is on the other side I think you can see it right here all right so you've got a top section and a bottom section when it spins in the opposite direction that nipple eventually works its way around to the bottom of switch so it's just a series of these things keep running until the nipple hits the um, off switch which is how I was able to adjust it so that one side ran a little bit longer back to what we were talking about with my driveway being curved here you see I opened the gate all the way and if you can see right here the nipple on the bottom half right here has come over to where it hit the stop button so that's where you want to start from you open the gate all the way and that nipple is not movable it'll just automatically go around until it hits the button now depending on where you need this to be right here on your gate you can screw or unscrew this center part until it fits right where it needs to be now what's going to happen is I'm going to push the button and this is start going to start going the opposite direction here until this little nipple here on the top comes around and hits the stop button here on top so let's see now you see see how it's kind of moving around it's moving around it moves very slowly now you see it coming into place now now right there it hit the stop button if that does not stop where you want it to stop and this is the part that was so difficult for me to understand in the instructions you put your fingers right here on this top part of it and you lift it it's got a little spring loaded in it and you can actually pull up and lift it and you can move it click by click either forward or backwards until that nipple hits where you want it to when you want it to do so the bottom part you cannot change that's always going to be fully open but the stop when you're closing the gate you can adjust where that nipple is by lifting up take your two fingers like this and kind of pinch it and lift it up and you can turn it left or right click by click and just you just have to play with it until you get it to where they both start and stop at the same place they give you instructions of the distance that you need to be from the center of your hinge right here to the location of this bracket okay and how far out this needs to be mine is called a pull to open type gate so you see the actuator arms are are fully extended when it's closed and when I hit open they start screwing inward all right so um, of course if if this was not attached it wouldn't screw inward until you hold it and make it it's stationary otherwise it'll just spin and spin but what happens is it's screwing itself closed like this this is drawing inward and it's opening my gate inward towards the house so this is a pull to open type situation um, to, to have that you need to have this the center of this approximately six inches from the center of your hinge okay and then from here out to here has to be anywhere from six to seven and a half inches and they have diagrams about this in the um, instruction manual so really you just need to get your ruler out uh, the purpose of that of course is you need the angle you need the angle so that when it draws itself in it will um, actually open the gate so that's all I've got I hope this helps you a lot and uh, good luck with your gate